you mentioned uh, climate crisis. Is that something that's on your mind a lot? You're not I mean, the typical person from Imperial, you know that. <laughs> well, everyone's different over there. I like it. Well, I, I think if you were to me, because it was a while ago that you met Robin and David. I think if you, if they were sitting here with me now, I think Robin is also really. In fact, there's an amazing paper that's just been published by a really good friend of mine, and who's working with the Imperial team. So Robin worked on that paper too. Um, looking at data we've got from psychedelic surveys. So this is people doing psychedelic ceremonies in lots of different contexts. Yeah, I love this. We were we were pro promoting some of this on social media. Yeah. So if people don't understand, it's a survey of anyone who's had a psychedelic experience. And this mass data can yeah. be really helpful to the researchers yes. at Imperial and Johns Hopkins and all yeah. these places. Yeah. And so what what were they saying? So if anyone's so yeah, so is it, if anyone's going to go and do a psychedelic experience, you do a before and after questionnaire so it can show causal changes. So it's not just um, yeah, it's not just like a survey study where we're looking at trends. We can actually show that a psychedelic is actually changing something in a particular way because we have the before and after. Okay. So the key thing with the psychedelic survey is you fill it in before you go and then afterwards as well. So with a really big data set, they've shown that actually psychedelic experiences in increase nature connectedness. So we kind of knew that anyway, but this yeah. is the first causal study to show that. We know that use of psychedelics is, is correlated with higher nature connectedness and more nature protective behaviours. But now we've shown that actually a psychedelic experience actually directly causes it. I mean, we see in our study all the time that like people stop eating meat after, you know, in, after psychedelics and um, people become so much more connected to nature. They say, oh, I'm part of it. I am nature. I'm part of this web of life. Oh, my God. You know. <laughs> yep. Oh. Yep. I was there. Yeah. yeah. I was there. And then you're back to an urban environment where yeah. you have to keep reminding yourself mm. that you're there. Yeah. But you go back to the urban environment, you get on Twitter yeah. and you start overworking yourself and then you go and d dip your toe into politics and that's all gone. Because you were talking about that monkey mind where you're right, I'm wrong, yeah, you're right, I'm yeah. wrong. That reminds me of the Twitterverse yeah. and the news <laughs> yeah. where yes. that that's rises to the top, I yeah. guess. Maybe yeah. it's survival of the competitiveness up yeah. there. And then we think that maybe that's normal, mm. but that's not going to yeah. get us where we need to go. Nope. Um, so the environment is important and we need to connect to it. And anybody yeah. who's had those experiences yeah. knows that's important. Yeah. And, and just... Does it I mean, stress you out? Does it worry you? Oh, I mean, actually, I, I, I've struggled to stay connected enough to the tragedy of enough. We have these mechanisms that we, I connect to it. So I remember I read Naomi Klein, This Changes Everything years ago. It's an amazing book. And mm -hmm. I read it. I read it with some friends and we were all just completely, we said we're going to, we're com completely committed to doing whatever we could to avert the, the, cri the yeah, ecological crisis. But then I found myself forgetting it. There's almost like a natural protective thing where I can't hold on to the, the panic for too long because I just think about my life and my daughter and other dates and my psychedelics. And so I wouldn't say I'm in a kind of constant state of like emergency about it, which is the problem because if we all were, we'd all be doing more about it. But also I do also think that being in a state of like panic and anxiety about it, that probably isn't that helpful either, that actually we need to connect to that feeling of we are interconnected, the love for everything, how amazing we feel when we're in a wood, like connect to that feeling of love for nature because that will help us stay strong and positive and do the work we need to do and, and protect nature because we love it, not because we're like, oh my God, it's burning, catastrophe, because then we'll just be in, you know, fight, flight and yeah. freaking out.